Welcome to the Brand New Angel Wisdom. I have been away for a week. Uh, YouTube put me on a, a, a week suspension for a video I made about healthcare. And I'm in the healthcare field. I didn't even say anything bad. Um, but anyway, I realized they changed their guidelines, so it's okay. I'm not upset. I just need to check my guidelines more often with them. Um, so, I am doing a reading for Virgos, Moon Sign Sagittarius, okay? Um, and I would like to share with you some things. A lot of things been happening when I was on my week suspension. I did uh, quite a few things, got a few things done. Um, so what we have here is our current moon is in Sagittarius and the greatest need is to always search for something, always search for something in, in uh, order to feel safe. You might find that you need to have a goal, mission, or philosophy um, that gives your life meaning for some of you in uh, Virgo and Sagittarius. Okay, so with Moon and Sagittarius, you have an optimistic approach to life and you believe that uh, things will get even, uh, will get even better if you, uh, get in trouble. So some of y'all might be getting in trouble and you think things are going to come, uh, get better in the situation. Okay. Um, some of the organs that might affect you in this moon sign will be like your liver, your sacrum, uh, your thigh bone, your tailbone, uh, your hip muscles, um, your hip joints, your lum your lumbar vertebrae, and your lumbar muscles in moon sign of Sagittarius for Virgos. This is a reading for Virgos who moon sign is in Sagittarius again. Okay, just in case I didn't say that. My mind is I'm just so excited that I have been um, you know curious about if I say this, did I say that? Did I do this type of thing? So, um, and another thing, you can have surgical ops, uh, get surgery in this moon sign. Mm -hmm. Will is um, recommended that you do it during the waning moon. Okay, waning moon. However, avoid surgeries of organs under the influence of the moon sign, okay? Alrighty, so... <laughs> Today is March 5th, year 2021, and so let's get started. I have it all laid out. It's just quicker because sometimes if I don't do that, the video takes a long time. And, uh, you know, it, sh it starts to shut me down for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes I think I have too much light. Okay, so... We have the Son of Coins for you. Yes, yes, yes. We have the Son of Coins. And he is dealing with learning, most likely teaching something. So some of you guys will be most likely on that um, rim of learning or teaching someone something. Okay. Just a little heads up. Also, um, the sign of coins reminds us about the importance of 
uh, thorough planning, uh, using all means at your disposal to ensure the most successful outcome. Okay, Virgo. So, um, the Sun of Coins always is like a thing of if you fail to plan, then you fail, then you plan to fail. Again, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail on the positive side. Uh, this can be somebody who is grounded, stylish, sets clear and realistic goals, has faith in him or herself, values education, and is at home in the body and um, and in a com and in comfort with other people. Okay. So this is what we have here. Alrighty. And then we have the daughter of coins, uh, which is telling us not to overlook or underestimate the importance of what may be considered the mundane aspect of our lives. Um, also the daughter of coins, um, is here to remind us uh, that it is often the little things that matters the most, okay? It's the little things that matters the most for the daughters of coins here. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know, Virgos. I'm hearing some of y'all. And on the other hand, she is, um, the daughter of coins is a, a goddess who, uh, who is a hard worker, committed, organized, honest, values tradition, and always wants to do the right thing. Okay, so that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. We need that. We need that. We always want to make sure we're doing the right thing, especially in these times. Especially in these times, my dear. And then... Also, I have... Uh, also, I have for you... Um, the four of coins. The four of coins. Excuse my fingers. I'm, my hands are sensitive to latex gloves, so I get a lot of peeling. And it dries quick, even though I, I lotion. So, excuse my finger there. <laughs> um, we have the four of coins, like I said. The four of coins is telling us financial security, material gains, sound investments, inheritance, uh, careful budgeting, and, uh, you know, living within one means. Someone who's being conservative and saving for a rainy day, okay? So that's what we have here, sorry. Now, we have the five of knives. I'm going to do it like that. I like to put them in order. I like to tell my stories in order. I don't like when they're scattered all over the place. Uh, it just, I feel more comfortable doing it that way. <laughs> okay, so we have the five of knives here. The one with the mouse sticking out here is telling us... Um, some of you Virgos are making amends, uh, resolving um, conflicts. Uh, some might have somebody who's uh, dealing with some vindiction, overcoming challenges, vengeances, um, righteous furry, uh, treachery, expo being exposed. Um, also, being prepared for battle, the end of attacks, fighting back and uh, confronting evil people or evil things, spirits. 
um, and compromise. Okay, so I know I've been dealing with some negative energy and spirits um, in my surroundings, and I've been doing a lot of uh, breaking and unblocking of curses and things lately. <laughs> so we have, so I can, I'm a Virgo. If anybody don't know, I'm a Virgo in the Mercury. So, yeah, so, and then we have the Nine of Knives, okay, the Nine of Knives for Virgo and Sagittarius, um, which is telling us, uh, some of us have renewed hope, um, the end of suffering, the worst of being, is being over now. Uh, good news is coming some of y'all and it's funny because I just said that um, now that we're speaking about good news I before I came on I was telling the other ministers in in the messenger that I feel something good is going to happen <laughs> and wow <laughs> this is the nine of nines came and told me this hmm um, some of you guys will be seeking help for depression and anxieties or letting go of certain things or people that is no longer needed. Sorry. Okay. And then we have the ancestors. Uh-oh, the ancestors are speaking to us. I felt like this should have came first. <laughs> Ooh. The ancestor should have came first, I'm trying to tell you. I think some of y'all feel that way too. Mm-hmm. So the ancestors is, uh, is saying, you better act right. Don't be going out there spending money carelessly on that inheritance. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, we're almost done here. The ancestors is saying to us, yeah, a happy baby is lying in the crib, though her form is young. There is a part of her that is very old. The half of her face that is skeleton reflects the eternal connection with the ancestors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So this card is telling us death is not a subject most Westerners or Western educated people like to discuss. It's an event that will happen to each and every one of us. Yet it is considered morbid, weird, or taboo or uh, to spend any time contemplating Virgos. Okay, so Virgos, I don't know. It cannot be a, it cannot be spring, summer, or fall forever. Okay, it just can't. It really just can't. Eventually, the end must come to make way for something new. Okay, so Virgos, death is just the beginning of that something. So when the ancestors uh, show up in our readings um, it's just hmm, I'm picking up on something um, you are being reminded that the only thing that is truly permanent is impermanence okay it's it's all it's okay to be sad Virgo I know some of y'all been through something been through some sufferings and been through some like hermit type mode situations I, I'm and I'm speaking because I know <laughs> I've been doing it been through it for three years and I feel like it's the chains are being off okay yeah yeah it's okay to be sad my Virgos trust me it's okay to mourn but you must let go. Life goes on. 
Okay, so we we need to consider the following since this has come up in our, our reading that every end is also a new beginning. The only thing that is consistent is change. Put the past behind you, Virgos, and start over. Or Virgos, learn how to embrace the unknown. Do you have, do you know who your ancestors are? Start looking into that. And, you know, doing some research. Doing some reading. Okay? Because the ancestors in this, this, in this reading here is the death. Dealing with death. Okay, what does your, what does your lineage ancestral heritage mean to you, Virgos? Okay, also Virgos, in what ways are you and your ancestors the same? How are you different? You know, do you feel connected to your ancestors? Why or why not? Do you communicate with your ancestors? If not, why not? You should. You know what I'm saying? Do genealogy research or create a family tree and start. Because you'll be surprised like me what you find out. <laughs> okay. And that's just a little advice. You take it or you don't. Um, also, we have the grandchildren. Oops. Oops. The grandchildren. Ooh, somebody got some grandchildren, huh? Somebody got some ch grandchildren. This is referring to the star. You see the star there? The flower is like, almost like a star, open flower. Hmm. That's good. Well, this card did appear in our reading, and it's a sign that relief from any stress, negativity, or despair is on its way. Okay, my Virgos, if there is no sign of hope evidence in your life yet, just be patient, Virgos, and you, you will soon see uh, the proof that things are looking up. Blessings shall abound you, um in this time so what you can consider uh is ask yourself some questions virgos ask yourself you know do i regularly count my blessings uh believing doesn't require proof okay you know some of y'all think believing requires proof and it really don't um also, what can I do to regain hope? Find a way to become inspired. Give without seeking anything in return. So, you know, you're a star. You, 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 you're connected to the planet. You can channel these things in and find some of your answers if you just feel stuck. Okay? And then we have... Um, we have the another card in our reading that um, is the John Horse right here. The John Horse, Ooh. and John Horse right here. You see him? So Virgos, you are being advised to take change of whatever, charge of whatever is going on in your life. Um, this is not the time for self-doubt or weakness of any kind. If you um, indulge those emotions too long, you you, Virgo, are certain to lose more than you can imagine, okay? So, yeah. The odds may be tough, but John, um, the John Horse here is telling you, is telling us, John Horse teaches us that no matter how great the odds are against you, 
victory is still achievable okay there is simple there is um simple simply no other course of action but to get organized and then charge full steam ahead okay so mr john is just you know he says you are a greatest warrior virgo okay you are the greatest warriors re that require support okay he's also letting you know in this card uh that you may increase your chance of winning by having the right spiritual teachers in your corner okay so uh, I, you know, I always say effective leadership requires wise counsel and up-to-date information. Okay, I do say that. Also, um, you know, also stick to your regimen for best results, Virgos. Okay. If you value comfort over security, things are about to get really uncomfortable for you if you do that. Um, every Indian wants to be the chief, okay? So, know how to handle your situation. Yeah, and get you some updated information. Don't rely too much on the old information. And that's again having to do with your ancestry. I I'm um this this has to do more with your ancestors right here, these two cards. Because you want to get update information as well as old information too. So with the old information, you might wanna get some new information as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you are the star. <laughs> the grandchild. Mm, the grandchild. Mm. That's right. I'm a th and that's making me want to go into getting some information too. Because I have started with information on um, my uh, dad's family family tree and um, and I was also able to get more information from him over the phone as well as after the internet which was more updated so that's that's a good thing okay and then we have um, the eight of cups the eight baskets sorry Okay, and Virgos, this is just telling us becoming independent, moving on, leaving the past behind, trying to find oneself. Uh, you want to retreat, you know. I see also relocating, some abandoning um, all that you have outgrown, and seekers of the truth. Okay, which again will all deal with the ancestors getting up-to-date information, finding some uh, 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 somebody that could counsel you and give you more information or teach you certain things, okay? Yeah. And you're, so you're going to abandon some people to get this genealogy, this family tree going or gain some old information and bring it to light with some new updates, okay? some relocating, some retreating, finding yourself through all of this that you learn here. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Oops. Uh. <laughs> what a video, huh? <laughs> yeah. Through these cards. That up, that up, and that up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The 
ancestors is all on this right here. They said it's time for you to know your roots. It's time for you to know your roots. Excuse me if this video is like <laughs> my uh, stand that I have my iPad on was tipping over. So that's why, excuse me though. I'm going to do another video and it will be a lot better. <laughs> No screens will be falling. That must be the spirit saying, okay, enough talking to them. Talk to me now. Let me let me teach you something. <laughs> oh, these ancestors saying enough. Stop talking about me. Let these people go and let them uh, 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 study. 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 Okay. Study about how they're the grandchildren, the star. <laughs> The new generation needs to learn the old generation. Get you some of some teachers that can help you update your info. <laughs> so you can move on, relocate, you know, start abandoning people so you could get more, more, give them more attention. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Peace and love. Namaste. I'm coming back with another video.